Former federal government minister Ian McFarlane has again dismissed any conflict of interest allegations as he takes up his new role as head of the Queensland Resources Council. He says he'll use all his contacts to lobby for laws that protect the environment but also ensure economic development and jobs. Dressed as rats, the small but vocal group of protesters had one target. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Mac, the rat has got to go. Mac the Rat is now the big cheese of the Queensland Resources Council. His job to lobby on behalf of the resources industry. Just stinks as far as I'm concerned, and that's our concern, you know, when you smell a rat, something's going on. They accuse him of breaching the Ministerial Code of Conduct, where ex-ministers are banned from lobbying for 18 months in their former portfolio area. This is a corrupt system that's been going on for many, many years. But the former Resources Minister says they're wrong. Well, I don't take legal advice from people in rat suits. And he sought advice from the Prime Minister's office. And I certainly don't believe that there is any conflict with the code of practice. In fact, I have checked. But he signalled he'll fight hard against environmental activists, lobbying the federal government to see they face the same donation scrutiny as politicians. The activists are not conservationists. At the industry's annual lunch, outgoing Chief Michael Roche expressed frustration over the multiple legal opportunities environmentalists use to delay projects. But I do scratch my head and wonder why our state government also has to help finance these court appeals by funding the Environmental Defender's Office. Mines Minister Anthony Lynham concedes cases have gone on too long, but he's defended the government's decision to restore objection rights. Stifling objection rights is the policy of the irrational. He says that's an ironclad method to ensure people object. Leonie Mellor, ABC News.